All right, today I am here to talk about the whole shitstorm that's happening on the internet. Nobody knows me. They'll probably see this video years afterwards and be like, what the fuck, this dude's going after us. The whole shitstorm is between Levy, H3H3, Keemstar is somehow involved, um, Pyro, and it all started because of this kid who I really feel bad for. He's autistic. He tried to make a good video. Leafy made a video making fun of him. Didn't know about it. The kid basically responded, uh, yada, 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 you know, I want to quit YouTube, this and that. And then everybody's fighting, as you all know. As you know, as well, Leafy leaked. I mean, H3, H3 made a video, shit talking all of him. And then Pyro released a video of how H3, H3 is actually backstabber making fun of him. And then it went to Leafy now, and Leafy's posting a video of all the conversation actually calling out H3, H3. <clears throat> Now, with that stuff, I understand you got to fight for subs. You got to fight on the internet, white knights, you know. Fuck. Fuck. It boggles me how internet fights happen, this and that. What happens in the good old days where the most aggressive thing on YouTube was the evolution of dance, the worm, you know. What the fuck happened to that? Um, but yeah, <clears throat> anyways, there's a lot of fighting, and I got to side with Luffy. He was wrong, he apologized. The kid who had Danny, I think his name is, who had autism, it's wrong that that happened, but how was he supposed to know he was autistic? Alright, it's bad to make fun of autism, I have friends with autism, and I bet if I talked to them, they would have said I wouldn't have reacted that badly, but that's because they're not as... A serious case as the kid Danny, which I feel bad for him. He shouldn't have gotten death threats. Making fun of him is totally different from, I'm going to kill your family, I'm going to kill you. That's not right. A uh, community should not do that. I don't have any community, obviously. I'm nothing. But, um, you can show compassion, you can make fun of people. I call my friends all the time, like, you're a fucking idiot. Go kill yourself and stuff like that. Like, jokingly, not with love. Like, stab yourself. But not too fast. Let it be slow and seductive, you know? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, uh, but yeah. That wasn't right and everything. But I understand why it happened. And I think Leafy's actually a really good person in real life. I think he found that his opinion, very jokingly and satirical, is popular. It's a way to make money. I would love to do the YouTube as a living for anything. That sounds like a really good way. You could do what you want. You can work when you want. And you can, um, a lot of people after a while, they can travel without worrying about money, which is always good. I think everybody should have an opportunity to travel one place they want to in their lifetime. So, yeah. And, um, it's also a really different place now, YouTube as a whole. It's very gritty, like greedy. If you're not making money, you're calling out people to go up to fame. If you're famous, you get told that you slept with this person, you slept with that person. Hideo Kojima, you made him quit that shit. <laughs> um, like, fucking... I don't know. I don't like that. I like the satirical commentary and people that I don't like literally going out of your way to ruin somebody's day purposely and continuously telling them to kill themselves. That's not right. Um, I honestly love everybody I've ever met. There's only two people in the world I hate with a passion. And one of them I knocked out. So, because he tried laying a hand on somebody I really care about. Which is a woman. Man tried laying a hand on a woman, which is never okay. And I knocked them out. It was amazing. Everybody was saying, you're a piece of shit for knocking them out. You're going to lay a hand on a woman. You're going to get knocked out or worse. So yeah. Unless the woman's coming out, you with a knife or fighting you, which you can't. If she's just fighting you, punching you, just grab her, hold her. Don't hit her. But if she's coming out with a knife, you fight back. It's Obviously, you're going to fight back. It's... Self-defense. Alright. Um, 
yeah, I got this one's loot crate. By the way, this is how I'm ending it. Really, I got this one's loot crate, and you can add that or that. Oh, that was cool. I for one chose the Punisher, cause come on, like I think he did a good job. Honestly, I know this is off topic right now, but like fucking Shane's voice changed. I followed him since The Walking Dead and everything. Even Mob City was amazing. And he does the Punisher and I has his own series maybe. Fuck, that's awesome. Um And if you get a chance, He Never Died is on Netflix, which you should definitely check out. I've been wanting to watch that for ever since it came out. That's Henry Rollins, Stephen Ogg. Just amazing. Alright. And um Viva La Buffalution. The cringe. Uh